Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to Cigar Talks with Midland Outdoors. You always look like you're going to hug the camera. I am. Every, <laughs> just want <laughs> every just wanna show my love. So as you can see, I've got Mike here. I'm Andy. And we've got our good friend, Villain, who also Sorry. has his own channel on the YouTubes. Just, welcome, so, welcome. Uh, yeah, welcome to the show. So uh, we figured today uh, we were doing some other stuff together, so we figured we'd go ahead and get a guard talk in yes, with our good buddy Villain, and uh, maybe you'll learn a little bit about Millen Outdoors, a little bit about what Villain does. So okay. uh, I'm going to be smoking the Camacho Triple Maduro, Mike. The Perdomo. Perdomo Champagne. That we did our review on. And Vince has the... Uh, the Trinidad? Trinidad. Yes, sir. So everything but the Camacho we've done a talk on. That is correct. So, and I'm sure the Camacho is not too far along the way. Yes, Here, I'll take your trash. Oh, thank you. I thought you Sorry, I dropped my light over there. Or it might be in my pocket. It is in my pocket. Wow. Look at that. I found it. <laughs> Good sore. Oh my. Pass her on down. <laughs> We're only using one cutter because I really love Andy's perfect cutter. So I just left mine in my bag. Which I need to get me one of these. I need to get a new lighter. That's what I need to get. I've never uh, had a good butane that's lasted on me. I think, yeah. I think I've got this to is pretty lighter. good. For sure. And I thought this would be good. That's all that you use mine. <laughs> I had one from Ron's surf shop. It was a little tiki man. That one actually lasted better than uh, the Zippo one I had. Wait a minute, let me get that lighter real quick. I just want to spot that one was a, mine. actually cheap. And I bought it from Outlaw, so they'll actually refill it for me for free too. Absolutely, Outlaw is the that's the shop we usually go to. We love them. Yeah, awesome yep. people. Awesome, yeah, awesome company, awesome people. They always do parties and stuff, which is really cool. Um, get all lit up here. Yes, sir. Maybe. 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 I think you're at the point now where you could probably puff on a little bit. And Puff on it and then it. light yeah. it, yeah. There you go. Should flame up. Flame on, there Johnny. There we go. There we go. All right, so now we're all lit up. I guess we can kind of continue on what I was just asking you before we started rolling the camera. How'd you get your start on YouTube? Since I was a kid, I always made movies. Built Lego stuff, different sets, and then I'd... Make little videos out of them. Yeah. Just hijacked my parents' camera. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I did a radio show when I was a kid. Like, nice. I used to do, like, cassettes and stuff. We used to do, me and my brother used to do music videos. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So. I, I did a Wayne's World. World type of. Yeah? Yep. That's yep. pretty good. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so, I've always done that. And then, uh, I was playing paintball. Started recording video. Yep. And I finally got a GoPro, and that's what really kicked things off. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of y'all have seen his videos, but go over there right now and check them cool. out. They're really cool. Very, very <laughs> cool videos. Mostly airsoft, paintball, yep. some gear reviews, some very, very serious videos. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't understand my comedy, and it's very satirical, so a lot of people will take the uh, videos as, like, wholehearted truth. and Yeah. It's, it's, it's like jazz. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny as hell. Yeah. yeah. That's cool though, man. So how long have you had your channel? Something like it. I think it was like uh, May of 2014 when I started doing it. Or uploading my first video at least. Really? Yeah. That's, that's not that long. Yeah. No. <laughs> hasn't been that long. I mean, the, our brainchild has been like three years. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we didn't actually start uploading videos to like January 2014, and then we took like a year long break. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> stopped, and yeah. Yeah. Well, now that's kind of where I've been right now on a 
kind of a hiatus. Or just, and not because I've wanted to. It's just, mm-hmm. I mean, most of my stuff's airsoft related to some extent. It's not gameplay or gear reviews or something like that. Um, and airsoft has just died down a lot in Kansas City. Yeah, it really yeah. has. Is that because of weather or just the culture uh, in general? The, culture. the field's kind of shutting down. Um, Nigel at Intrigue, him moving, uh, shutting down his pro shop. Yeah, because he was a big player in the... Yeah. In the... Uh, community i guess you would say yeah a really cool dude too never met yeah him. Uh, if you haven't watched uh if dials you're interested 46. yeah dials 46 go watch his videos he's got some cool shit too yeah he did the fat softer the yep. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that would be me <laughs> or tips for fat softer i can't remember the name of the video but nicknames or something like that yeah. i don't know butternut or butter squash or something what was that one butter stuff, <laughs> butter stuff. <laughs> yeah oh, he's a cool dude but uh so yeah, it's it's died down, and I don't know. I just haven't picked up the ball on anything else yet, but definitely been eager to do that. Yeah, right on. So the future is is unknown for sure, yeah, but there I'm, will be more. I'm gonna start incorporating a lot of of my different hobbies into mm-hmm. into. Nothing wrong with that. That's how we got the Star Talks. Yeah, that's exactly how we got the Star yep. Talks. That's it. We decided to branch out a little bit. Yeah. Where? Well, there's that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not gonna matter. Our lens is hitting our lens cover is hitting the yeah. tripod. <laughs> yeah, but it's not gonna matter because we're running lapels. Good God, speaking is all that slow Jeez, down. Jeez, no shit. This is a residential <laughs> area. <laughs> okay, it's not really residential. It's totally area. not residential. Wait, so how long have you guys been actively uploading? actively uploading? I think January of 2014. Yeah. We uploaded one video. And then we were oh. working we were working on the boat video for like the longest time and that never ever came to fruition. Yeah, uh, I had a few thing. videos like that. Yeah, yeah. And we were working, yeah. And then uh, I guess really like early this year or late last year, we really started kind of kicking things into high gear. Oh yeah. Yeah. Finally got our, uh, our shit together, so to mm-hmm. speak. Yeah. So... And then ever since then, we've been rolling pretty much every weekend. Yeah. We've been cutting the most videos. Part, yeah. So, yeah. The big thing is, it's really cool to watch is just how your videos evolve as you yeah. start introducing different Definitely. editing, different uh, equipment, different styles. It's Yeah. It's I'd, been like, from our first video, I mean, the first video we ever did was on an iPhone and it was... Vertical. vertical so it had, <laughs> you know it had the oh, black screens yeah. on either side so and That's, then you know to think about that to now like we incorporate the action cameras and you know yeah. the barrel cam and stuff yeah. it's pretty sweet and our audio has definitely gone through the roof for sure yeah. hell yeah so all right let's get a flavor profile in all right yeah uh, go ahead. anybody that watched our episode on the perdomos knows um oakiness kind of a smoky oakiness so i'm actually getting a little bit of pepper out of this one interesting which i didn't get from the one we smoked before yeah so that's really it on that one that's just super tasty yeah yeah i would say this uh i'm smoking a camacho triple maduro definitely full flavored i like that not really a peppery so much as like a uh just a very dark earthy tone to it and i really enjoy that so smoking really well Pulling, pulling really good. So I like it. Yeah. Vinny, how's that Trinidad treating you? It's uh, it's pretty mild. It's good, it's got a good flavor. It's got a very cigar-y taste to it. Bigger, <laughs> yeah, very cigar-y. Yeah. Would you say uh, it tastes like a cigar? Smoky, cigar-y. <laughs> Piney. <laughs> I can taste the pines in there, yes. <laughs> well, cool. Um, so, what do you guys want to talk about? Who's got something? I don't know. We did a lot of shooting earlier today. We did. Yeah. We Very put fun. a ton of rounds downrange, mm-hmm. playing with all kind of toys, playing with Vinny's uh, toy, like his his uh, cowboy bebop, his <laughs> drone. We were yeah, we playing with that. Out. The uh, steady cam, steady cam, yeah. playing with that kind of stuff. That was really cool. Yeah, it was. Thanks for bringing that stuff out. That's yeah. always fun. 
and uh, and we cut a video on holsters that you'll be seeing coming your way soon. You should actually see it before this one comes out. So Probably. If you haven't watched yeah. it yet, go, <laughs> go click watch on the that. <laughs> Either one of them. Go yeah. watch ours or villains. Yep. So, um, we destroyed our targeting systems today. Yeah. Uh, which actually they held up a lot longer than I thought they would. Because when we built those, it was it's. It was terrible. Yeah. It was a terrible design. It's all shaky and rickety. <laughs> we just threw them together. Just, yeah, just to shoot. We were just so excited. We just wanted to get out yeah. there and shoot at so, them. So uh, this will give us a good excuse to actually revamp them. I want to make them out of metal. Make so. them usable. <laughs> Reusable. Reusable. Yeah. Reusable not a better word. Yeah. Not a disposable option. <laughs> um. Yeah. Good time. Good times. Great oldies. So, what is your favorite airsoft kill that you've done? Oh, shit. That's probably a I don't know. Wow, that's good. Yeah. And always, it's fun rolling up on people and doing safety kills, but I don't know. It's really gratifying to get those, like, one ball shots. Just, yep. just like, it's a distance. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it's just a big enough distance, and you pop that one round and just. It's like it an art him. shot with a pistol. Like, and then there's just that pause. <laughs> there's just that pause where you're like, call it, call it. And then <laughs> he doesn't go up. They're like, yeah. ah. It's gratifying. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I've never played Airsoft. Mike has. It's, uh... I actually remember playing, uh, well, the Mac, and now used to be the Tab, or Tab, Tactical Airsoft Base. Uh, I was coming around that back window on the back side, and we were back on the, when they had pallets back there still. Yeah. And we ran through those windows like you were doing in, in your video, and some guy shot me, and it went like through my ear. Oh wow! Yeah, like, <laughs> it like re pierced my ear. Yeah, I'll never forget that. It went through it like yeah. the skin. Yeah. Wow. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I mean, it, like it came in, and then it was in it, and then by the time I uh, got back to take care of it, it was it gone. was stuck yeah, I've, in there. I've cleared one yeah. from my ear. Yeah. Damn. Um, I've talked. People taken, on lips and stuff. Yeah, I've taken plenty right where the mesh and the glasses mm -hmm. match up. Yep. That would hurt. I caught one in the teeth one time, yeah. and I was running a mouth guard, oh. and I took it out, yelled at my teammate, and then put it back in. And as I was putting it back in, I caught one. I was like, "No, no, 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 no!" <laughs> I've seen teeth get knocked straight out. Are you serious? Teeth. Yep. Yeah. Jesus. Now I really don't want to play this game. <laughs> yeah. It's good though. I mean, it's oh, it's good. Just like paintball, it's, it's got risks. Yeah. You know. Paintball does not have risks. Yes, it does. Man. No, I mean yeah. you're back. You could bruise a up. nut. Anytime yeah. I was just telling this uh, to the wife. Anytime you're running and trying to keep a weapon up and not looking at the ground, you're guaranteed to get hurt. That's just more. you. Well, that is just me. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, I you're just like I've never done that. I've tripped over multiple things. Matter of fact, I stepped in a go for hole and threw out my back <laughs> at tab. <laughs> <laughs> multiple injuries there. Jesus, Grandpa. <laughs> That's one thing I don't get is like. I'm just a people big roll their ankle so many times while playing, and everybody likes to be so high speed and wears uh, like the Merrells that are yep. little cut. Like, just wear boots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why they're designed. Yeah, I've gone through like at least two of just about everything airsoft related, but only one pair of boots. There you go. Yeah, I've gone through the laces on them, and mm -hmm. I, I went with these Rhino laces. Those things are sick. Yeah, nice. they're solid. So like, are you a glove guy or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just, but I gotta cut off uh, the, the tip uh, yeah. just for the uh, just trigger the finger, just the tip. Just the tip <laughs> on the on the thumb and trigger finger. Otherwise, I find myself in the mag release all the time. Yep. There's plenty of footage of me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping mags. <laughs> yeah. All right on. Well, there'd be plenty of times where I'd forget to put a mag into and just hit your first bunkers. <laughs> have to reload or er, load it's good though i mean you get to to i don't know, play with loadouts and, and just find what mm. works for you best in different situations I, it's it's got a lot of good aspects that translate into the real world but it's not real world experience right yeah. right gets yeah. you familiar yeah yeah and especially if you set up your airsoft gear like like your gear you know, right. like your real world gear. I mean, I guess you could get some 
as far as like muscle memory cross training goes, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I mean, they operate fairly similar, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, for example, just like mentally knowing where I have everything, like I usually run three mags up front, uh, AR mags, pistol mags on my belt. So that's that's pretty much how I have my mm -hmm. real world setup and having that muscle memory of that's where I go. This Dump is bag is always go. in the same place. Yeah. The mags are always facing the same direction. You know, it's, it's silly, but I've sat at home or stood at home and, and you know, closed my eyes and, and reloaded and just to build that muscle memory. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I did the same thing in paintball practicing, loading, uh, blindfolded, uh, filling the hoppers and not spilling anything. Mm -hmm. Like nice. it just takes yeah. repetition. See, I'm one of those guys that'll dump half his pot on the ground <laughs> before he even gets it open. I've dropped many a speed tube. Yeah. I used to carry like, a nine pack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like two cases. People I mean, are like, what the hell is this guy? And I just lay paint. Have like, you seen the backpack that they made for that uh -uh. lately? It's a giant ass backpack that you fill up with paintballs and yeah. it auto feeds into What? Your yeah. yeah. And it oh can do up to God. like 40 a second or something. It, as long as you're done, can shoot that. Yeah, fast. it's got like the agitator in the bottom and it just feeds up yep. the tube. Oh, I could do so much damage with that. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Paintball's so different now than it was oh god there's so much technology in it now yeah it's ridiculous it's and the insane. new um empire just came out with a new mask if yeah what it's called but you you've seen me eyeball in it it's got oh, yeah. that heads up display in it oh, yeah. yeah cool it'll bluetooth with their vanquish marker and give you a round count holy shit it'll show you like positions uh friendlies who are also i think they have to wear it or it they might work the off system. the gun i'm not sure but uh that's cool yeah. that is cool i wonder if they're gonna make that legal for tournament use i don't see why not i can see him dumping it if it if Unfe it, unfair playing field yeah. advantage yeah i guess they did get rid of like walkies on the field yeah. like radius i remember way back the jt axiom masks yeah. that look like lego masks yep. Yep. and they had, they had a, the yeah. ear port that you could plug in uh ear. like a headset yeah yeah, I always like the JT stuff. The Proteus. Proteus. The Proteus. That's it. Yep. You almost look like Predator in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or like uh, Reptile from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you like Mortal Kombat, Amy? I love Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. JSN. Well, right on. So we've asked you some questions. Do you have any questions for us? What do you guys, uh, what, what do you, what's your guys' goal? Like, overall goal uh, with the channel? Well, I'll let you answer that. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially, like, it's just kind of like fun to, first of all, it's almost like a memory book. So you can kind of, yeah. Totally agree with that one. Yeah. Yep. And it's cool to be able to like, you know, look at stuff and show other people like, oh, hey, here's this. Like, personally, I do a lot of research on anything before I buy it. Sure. So that's kind of the people that I tailor to. And, you know, I just want to make things as informative as possible. But, you know, ideally, like, It'd be cool to have like an official outdoor networks TV show. Yeah. You know, like a variety show. That yeah. would be my ultimate goal. If the only yeah. thing I would add to that would be just the pure fact that we want to entertain y'all. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason we're doing this. And I, I, I get gratification out of people actually replying saying, mm -hmm. hey, you really helped me with this, or yeah. you really, yeah, you really cool. changed my look on this, or haha, you guys are stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Even you know, the haters. It's all good to me. We welcome so. any and all haters. Yep. Bring it on, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, that's one thing you have to deal with, is the people not getting it, or the mm -hmm. people that want to yeah. analyze there everything. There always been people like that. And, and so many sure. people look past the, the big picture of, mm -hmm. what are you accomplishing? What was, you know, was your right. initial intention with a video, and just and it's not like we're saying like, oh, we're much better marksmen yeah. and we're like the most tactical dudes. We know all the right stuff. Like, dude, we, you know, we're average mark marksmen. Like, we're not, you know. Common man. Yeah. yeah. We're just regular it's Joes. It's not like relatable. we're trying to be. Right. Right. It's not like we're trying to be like, you know, over the top, like, you need to do this yeah. or, you know, whatever. Yeah people loved it just jump on anything wrong mm -hmm. and oh, just yeah. destroy it yep. and i mean we've <laughs> yeah we've had that <laughs> we, we circled though multiple the, times the uh satirical websites quite a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i 
And sometimes we'll sit there and be like, well, I mean, what's, what's wrong with that? And Right. You know, like, it comes down to, you know, when Dirt you're doing this stuff, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, what's comfortable, what works for you. Yeah. Like, if it works and you're getting the job done, then it's just as right as anybody else's way. Exactly. Amen. Like, you know, and that's a funny thing that, that you bring that up because, like, you and I train differently. Yeah. When we're... Even when we're pistol training or rifle training, uh, Vince looks to move towards the threat where I want to put as much distance and uh, cover. Cover, yeah. you know, I, I try to fight my way back for cover. Well, that's, what, that's the way I try to train. Sure. You know, should I ever get in that situation, you know, ideally I would try to fight back to cover. And then reassess the situation and go from there. And you're kind of the opposite of yeah. that. You know, let's go into the battle. Yeah. Let's, you know, take the the front to them. Right, that kind of violence of action attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, show, a large show of violence, yeah. Right, and it works and it doesn't work. Just Sure. I mean, and, and I've seen that a lot through playing airsoft and a lot through playing paintball. Mm -hmm. so you may go try to bunker kit and just get blasted up the side. Otherwise, it may break open the game. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, like we were saying, different strokes, different folks. You know, it's just highlighting what you naturally do already, what your yeah. instinctual actions are to do, and capitalizing on that, using that to your advantage, yeah. and just working it into your rhythm. Yep. Just grinding it into your body and, yeah. and just the way you do things, the way you operate. No pun intended. Hey. <laughs> that's a cigar talk so that a little humor exactly <laughs> so I figure that's good for this episode you want to wrap her up yeah 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 we'll wrap it up thank you to villain for uh joining us for a midland outdoors cigar talks thanks Indeed. for having me gentlemen absolutely yep. we've uh be on the lookout for our other videos video featuring villain and uh make sure to go Hit up his channel, subscribe, like, share, oh. all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, pass gas, whatever, <laughs> you know, to our stuff. Yep. And uh, check out our website, too, midlandoutdoors.webs.com. And uh, that's going to be it for this time. So right. thanks a lot for watching Midland Outdoors. Brown <laughs> 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 <laughs>